Good morning. Welcome to Spotlight Saturdays. Today's video is about two orchids. Um, this is Lelio lobata, variety Cerulea, which hails from uh, Brazil. It is a lithophyte, hence why it is in uh, hydroton and a little bit of bark and charcoal. So anyway, this orchid has given me a bit of problems in the past. Um, especially when Hurricane Irma came through, um, which dumped a bunch of fungus and stuff like that here. And, you know, I've been battling fungus, but it's pulling through. So we would get growth that would come up. They would rot. Another growth would come up. It would grow. Um, so yesterday I noticed, I said, okay, we got to do a repot on this because uh, there was part of the plant which I just pitched. Um, that had a rotten growth on it. I said instead of that we're just going to just get rid of that other um, Part of the plant and pitch it and let this get on to growing well beautiful uh, purple flowers on this guy Beings it is a cerulea. We know that cerulea in orchid terms is kind of purple so but uh, Yeah, it's it's starting to grow pretty good. Hopefully we'll um, do good with it um, Let me see here you can see it's starting to shuck out new roots, so perfect timing. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll grow on to uh, produce flowers. It's got to really be overgrown to bloom. That's what they say anyway. Likes to be really pot bound and overgrown. So in order for it to bloom. Also, it is a very, very extreme highlight. It grows in full sun in Brazil, so. So this guy can handle quite a bit of light. Um, I've been keeping it in full sun almost in the polytunnel. Um, real early full sun, morning full sun. So, and uh, then it goes back into the polytunnel. So, and something is crawling on me. So, yeah, anyway, um, that is a Lelia lobata. And there's alba forms, there's pink forms, purple forms, yeah. So it's a pretty neat orchid, and it is fragrant also. Alrighty, let's move on to our next plant. Okay, here we have a uh, Lelia autumnalis, a clonal name Winston. And um, yeah, this has been kind of a challenge to grow also. Um, I got it in spike last year, which they all blasted due to probably climatic change or whatever. Um, different growing environment because it come from California um, but yeah it's a beautiful species a Mexican native grows up into the mountains it's either lithophet lithophetic or epiphytic another highlight Lelia and this one is in spike it's getting a spike in it so let's pray that that uh, spike comes along and I can share these blooms with you I'd really love that myself we're finally getting it on to growing better. It did give me a uh, rather hard time to start, um, you know, getting it acclimated into my area here. So, but, uh, and it's supposed to be a cool grower, but I'm finding that it can tolerate intermediate conditions, which I do have, um, bordering kind of hot, you know, in the summertime, it's pretty hot, but uh, it's dealing. So I'm not going to complain about it for being a cool grower or supposedly cool grower. I'm finding out it can handle intermediate conditions. So, um, yeah, not much else really to say about it. It's a beautiful species. Um, once you get it acclimated into your growing uh, conditions, it should grow pretty good. So, um, now we did have a Gouldiana, which was a big fail. That's way too cool growing for me. So, and that one just evaporated into nothing. So that was a big waste of money for me. <laughs> so, but hopefully this one will bloom this season and uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. So, all right guys, with that, that's gonna wrap up uh, Spotlight Saturdays and I'm gonna do another video um, and uh, show you a few blooms that are coming along and uh, talk about some other things. All right, guys, love and peace. Keep it growing, and we'll definitely see you next Saturday. Bye-bye. Have a good day, and enjoy the weekend.